In this video, we are going to learn about singly linked list. The structure of the singly linked list will be in this fashion. Here in this example, I'm showing you eight nodes. The first one is head node with the data and a next is a pointer to the next node. So all the nodes will be in the same fashion. And the last node is nothing but the tail node, which will also have data. And the next pointer to the next node will be null pointer. So this is a basic structure of the singly linked list. How the structure of the node will be when you are writing a program. Here it is like structure uh, we'll be using struct keyword node. The node can be is uh, user defined name actually like you can give any name for the structure and int data data what I'm going to insert in the singly linked list I'm defining as integer data type. You can define uh, you know, like uh, four variables or five variables, any number of variables for data. Like uh, let me say int x, uh, character c, arrays, float f, like this you can define three or four variables. And uh, at the end, you have to define struct node start next, which indicates that you are defining a pointer to the next node. Means the similar structure of the node will be created and whose pointer will be nothing but next. Okay. So the next one is insertion into the single linked list. That is, we are inserting a value into the single linked list. So how many different ways there are? There are uh, insert at the beginning of the list, insert after a given node, insert at the end of the list. So now insert at the beginning of the single linked list. First one, what we are going to see. So this is the example basic one, what we are telling that is, this is a existing linked list. And now we want to insert a node at the beginning of the single linked list. And the node, what we want to insert is data 40. So that one we are giving to the node data. Okay. So void push struct node head int node data. So here uh, the head pointer we have to pass as a parameter to the push along with the data what we want to insert into the new node. So first one, we have to use dynamic creation of the node that is uh, struct node star new node equal to new node. So new is the keyword which is helping us to create a new node and which returns a pointer and that pointer is nothing but new node actually. Then new node data is equal to node underscore data. So node underscore data is having 40 that will be copied with the new node data. So here in place of data, 40 will be coming. And here this arrow mark is nothing but the way we access the elements of the structure using the pointers. Because new node is a pointer and data is the element of the struct node. So we are accessing the data using the pointer new node with the arrow. So you can see that the data is replaced with the 40. Then new node next is equal to head. So new node next means this one, this next value. Okay. That should be head because that is nothing but head pointer. What we are already having, we are copying into that particular next pointer. So it will be linked. That is the new node and the head node will be linked to each other like this. Then new node is assigned to head pointer that is the new node pointer will become the head node like this. So this is how we insert a value at the beginning of the single linked list. Next insert after a given node. Here the value we have to give after which we are supposed to insert the data. Uh, that particular point I am not showing here but uh, here if, if I want to insert a value after 10. So what I have to do, 10, I have to give the value. Means like I want to insert the value after 10. And the value, what I want to insert, that is 40. 
Now, what I have to do is always we are having only the head pointer. So, using the head pointer, the data I will take and compare with the value given naturally. So, because I have given the value 10, so that 10 will be uh, matched, right? Because it is matching, the pointer in that particular node will become the previous node actually, okay? Suppose if I want to insert after 20, then it will compare first with 10 because it is not matching, it will go to 20. And then because it is matching, this next pointer will become previous node actually. So once you get the previous node and node data, what we want to insert, the insert after function will start executing. So if previous node equal to null, the given previous node is required, cannot be null. That is, the, the, this is no like we want to have a value of the previous node definitely because um, we are inserting after a given node actually, right? So here, what will happen here, first we are creating a new node. So as usual, as we have done in the previous case and node data, again, this is also similar to the previous case, node data is assigned to new node data. So here, this data will be changing to 40. And then previous node next is copied to new node next. So what is previous node next? This one, that is pointer to 20. So this will be copied to this one. So that is this 20 next will be linked to the new node actually, like this, okay? Then new node is going to be previous node next. New node is nothing but this one and 10 next, that is head node and the new node should be linked to each other like this. Once we link like this, the existing link between the head node and the second node should be removed. That is, this arrow will be erased like this, okay? So, now you can observe that there is a link that is first node is 10, then 40, then 20, then 30, okay? Now, let us see about inserting the node at the end of the list. The value what we are going to insert is 40 and the function name is append. We are passing head pointer and the value 40 using node data variable. We are going to create a new node first as usual in the previous uh, cases. Then we are uh, giving the head pointer as a last also for temporary purpose. We will see why, what is the use of this in, at the end. So here you can see last is uh, a temporary pointer as similar to the head actually. So new node data node is equal to node data. So you can see that like uh, the data will be updated with 40 here. And then new node next is null. Here, because we are inserting the node at the end of the list, obviously the next pointer, which is pointing to the next node in the new node, what we are going to insert into the list should be null pointer. So it will become null pointer. Then. If star head equal to null, star head equal to new node written. So here, what does this particular uh, code tells us is, we have to check whether head is equal to null or not. Why we are checking is nothing but whether the list is empty or not. Means if the list is empty, head will become null node. That is the node what we are going to create now is the first node in the linked list. So in that particular case, the pointer new node will become the head node and we will return back. But now in this particular case, already we are having th three nodes and uh, fourth node we are inserting. So this head is equal to null will be failing. So this particular code will not get executed. Then while last next not equal to null, until last next is equal to null, we have to keep in a loop actually. So what is happening first, last next is not equal to null in the sense, like last next is this one. So this is not null, right? So what we do, last equal to last next, means this next pointer will be assigned to the last. So last is equal to last next. So now second node will become the last node. So again, last next will be checked. So what will happen? This is not a null. So what we do again, last equal to last next. 
So third node will become the last now. And we'll be checking the next point. That is nothing but the null actually. Right. So when at this particular point, we can observe that last next is null. So because it is null, what we what do we do is new node will be assigned to last next. So new node pointer will be assigned to last next. So link is established. And you can see that the link is uh, created now by in inserting the new node at the end of the list. So here, uh, this is the procedure for inserting at the end of the list. Okay. Thank you.